welcome to motivation Monday um, in today's video I'm gonna talk I just wanted to go across my about talk about my health a little bit um, especially because I'm not feeling too well right now so I thought it's the perfect opportunity to talk to you guys about it sorry that's just Tara in the background sorry. drinking her soda <laughs> Or her icy water so for those of you that are new to the videos um, I have fibromyalgia I also have lupus and I also have chronic pain syndrome um, fibromyalgia is a um, nerve pain that causes just widespread pain throughout your body or it could target certain areas um, your doctors can do some tests to find out if you have that um, they normally f go you know target joints and things like that um, run blood tests work and stuff like that so that's how <laughs> precious is over there playing with the Christmas hat Preshy. Leave me alone. I'm trying to record a video. Um, lupus is another disease where um, it's it kind of makes your body attack itself so to speak um, I don't there's more stuff that I need to know about it because that one is more of the new diagnosis that I have um, so I have to kind of do a little bit more research and it'll be perfect to do the research for you guys as well so you guys can learn right, right along with me so um, that is a new one but I know it like I know that I have some family members that have it uh, one family member in particular, uh, her lupus targets her kidneys. So she's had had kidney failure, kidney transplants, all that sorts of stuff. Back to that, um, my cousin, she has it and, you know, by with God's will, she is doing awesome. She is in her 30s and, you know, yeah, her health still, you know, has its bad days, but she is a warrior across all warriors she is strong um, so I definitely always go to her for you know questions and things like that especially because she dealt with what I'm going through now so um, and with the chronic pain syndrome it basically is the name of it I have chronic pain all the time mainly with my back um, it's I, I get spasms where my muscles just constantly are just doing this and this and it makes me laugh when people say oh just go try to relax i'm like i don't know what that is because my body technically never relaxes so that my muscles are constantly doing this and by them constantly spasming you can just imagine how tired my muscles are point blank they're they just are tired so it in turn that makes me exhausted so um, that's what I deal with on a daily basis. Um, today I'm just in pain because I um, got up at 7 o'clock this morning, had to take Tara to her doctor's appointment and go to the grocery store, you know, come back here and let the groceries and all that other good stuff. So by me not being like because we were in such a rush that I didn't get to eat so I couldn't took my I couldn't take my medications. So I started to become really sore because I was doing so much without my medicines in my body that my muscles were starting to get tired so that's why right now I'm sitting with all of this behind me blanket I have two big blankets I have Tara's quote from her bed another big blanket I have Tara's pillow that I'm actually sitting up against um, because it kind of helps give my back support because this couch is very very soft so I don't you know my body doesn't like when it sinks into stuff so you know even though this stuff is soft Preshy I'm trying to record a video and you're going crazy Oh, she wants to come say hi to you guys. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> she was laying down, sleeping, everything until I turned the camera on. <laughs> Thank you for the kisses. Thank you. Okay, go sit down. Go be a good girl. Crazy. Um, but yes, that is what I do. That's what I deal with on a daily basis. Um, I normally, I just recently started carrying around this big Ziploc bag of medication. I, yeah, I have some random napkins in here. That's, you know, if I need them for my nose or my face or whatever. But I walk around with fiber pills, which help with my stomach because I developed IBS just recently. So this helps with that. And IBS is very painful. If you don't know what that is, it's irritable bowel syndrome. I know. TMI right but 
hey, this is a health video and I'm giving you guys everything. My other pill is my, I'm going to bruise these names, so I'll put them on the screen. Um, Predilus Aprazole, um, Amprazole, I don't know, it's for my stomach, because I have, I have acid reflux, and I also am lactose intolerant, so I take that for my stomach every day. I also take hydrocodone slash antisamphamin. Vicodin. This is a technical term. My pain pills, which helps with my daily pain. I take that every day. <coughs> I take Deluxitin. I think that's how you say it. That is for my fibromyalgia pain. So I take that every day. I also take, where is it? Oh, I also have to take vitamin D because my vitamin D is very, very low, and that can hinder with the inflammation that I have in my body and cause more pain. So they are trying to up my dosage of vitamin D, so I have to take those every day. And in this one, also with the fiber, I know you're not supposed to mix pills, but these two I just have randomly. I also keep ibuprofen in here because for some reason with my Vicodins and Ibuprofen. My Vicodin, yes, it does help subside the pain a little bit of the pain that I have in my body from the inflammation, but Ibuprofen helps with my headaches. I don't know why the Vicodin will not help with my headaches, but Ibuprofen will. So I have, I keep Ibuprofen on me all the time because I do get quite a bit of headaches. So this is the toxins that I have to put in my body every day to help. Sucks, but I have to take them every day um, and I know coming up next week I have a lot of doctor's appointments I have one on month I have one today that you guys are seeing this video with my primary doctor they're going he's going to check my lower lower back because when I sit for too long it hurts really bad um, so he sorry precious what are you trying to mess with she is messing with stuff under the table. Crazy. Crazy. But anyways, um, I have an appointment today that you guys are seeing this video with my primary doctor. And um, he's going to check my lower back. And he's just, I think he's going to just run some more tests just to make sure. And then on Thursday, I have two doctor's appointments in the same day. I am going to be one tired, tired person that day. In the morning, I have a CT scan of my abdominal section because on my last test, they did find some bleeding. So they just wanna make sure that my organs are okay, make sure there's no holes anywhere, stuff like that. Because taking all that medication all the time can take a toll on your midsection. So they're gonna do an uh, abdominal scan that's gonna take about 45, half an hour, 45 minutes. And then the afternoon on Thursday, I also have to um, go to my rheumatologist, which is a person who deals with all the immune diseases and things of that sort. So I go see him afterwards. Um, he's going to check all my medications, make sure everything's good, um, you know, do check, see how my pain levels are, stuff like that. So yeah, it's going to be a long day. But yeah, that's what I go through dealing with these diseases. Um, and it's a pain in the butt it can be a really big pain in the butt especially on my bad days um but yeah kind of sucks and another bad thing too that's been like on my mind from today when i took tara to her doctor's appointment is that it can be hereditary because tara's been having a lot of stomach pain and he checked her at her appointment today for her checkup and stuff and said she may have inflammation in her stomach but that can also be caused from acid reflux or things like that, which I also do have, which can also be passed down her. So um, he's going to start her on a medication to see if it helps with her stomach. Um, she's going to do it for like a month long, see if it helps. 
and then um make an appointment he's gonna check see how everything is and then if it does help he's gonna continue that medication for her um so guys just definitely definitely take care of your bodies eat healthy you know like me you can't work out go for a walk if you can for however long you can walk for you know i know that like people like me we're limited to how far we can walk so you know i try to go on a trail in the backyard or something but don't take your bodies for granted guys um i know some of you may have health issues do you guys deal with anything like do you know do some of you have autoimmune diseases do you have you know migraines anything like that put it down below i would like to know it's like ever since i've been sick i've been intrigued to kind of know like what different things are around there you never know you know you can i can also find other people who have the same thing i have and we can kind of like bond together with it so to speak and kind of learn from each other and um i definitely want to make a big society out of this you know with the health and even if it's even if it, there's nothing wrong with you you know even putting stuff down in the description about healthy eating or easy workout something that may help people like me who are really limited so definitely let me know down in the comments um but i just gonna end this video hope you guys enjoyed this first motivation mondays video um ak this one was health related so um yeah definitely let me know what you guys think thumbs up the video and if you're new to the channel please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and i will see you for another fitness video next monday guys and have a awesome week bye